From making sure that fun is part of work to allowing employees to be their best philanthropic selves, Lee's plan has built a truly fantastic culture. I think the F word is appropriate at work. And it's not that F word, it's fun. Uh, it's okay to have fun at work. I think, you know, we have a committee and a team of people and they're not paid to do the job. Uh, they're our engagement committee, they're our fun at work committee that do things where we just, you know, we play ping pong, which costs nothing to do, but we play it with two by fours. I think we let a lot of our employees, our, our, our least plan cares committee, we give them money for philanthropic events, but there's no manager on that committee. Frontline employees decide where they want to help, our two major charities, one in Chicago is Shelter Inc., the other one is the Children's Shelter of Atlanta and our employees decide what to do. One of our key learnings was a lot of our employees wear phil phil philanthropy on their heart. They have a philanthropic desire to be good corporate citizens. So we let them, we enable them. They usually double what we give from the corporate monies by raising monies themselves to be a good corporate citizen in the places where we work and play. In leadership, I think it's the little things that leaders do that separate them from other leaders. Uh, I think some of that is with regard to handwritten personal notes. I think that's about celebrating the little successes. Anybody will celebrate when we win a 2,500 car fleet. Uh, but what about when you do something exquisite with a driver, like one of our folks did in Chicago when a car was in an accident and they drove three blocks from our office and brought them coffee in the middle of a snowstorm. That kind of stuff you celebrate and you, you kind of uh, revive the spirit of it happens one person at a time.